Maybe now he's learned the lesson that don't trust anything in this world. What the hell is this thing now? All right, we are back with a little bit more of the old creepy tale, too. Now, honestly, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do more of this. Personally, I did. But um, in terms of interest-wise, it seemed like I was just kind of better off putting my attention in other projects. But, but. The but is the, um, I enjoyed it. And especially this last episode that I did with the entire cannibalistic family and how that all turned up. Some people were telling me in the comments that it'd be kind of weird if the people that we saved or the kids that we saved wind up also being like the next cannibal family. That would be pretty disturbing. But um, that's the reason why I'm back for more. It's a disturbing game and hey, you know what? Oh, good. That's what you want to see happen. The girl with the monster is on the hand. The poor animal hid in this hole. I should help it. Are we really gonna put ourselves in danger for the animal, my friend? We only have a dagger here. I guess if we gotta shank something, we shall. Got a jug? Mm. There's a worn spot on the branch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if we use the knife on this and it'll fall on the monster down there? There we go. I was hoping he'd light on fire. We're gonna pet his booble. Go. I think this is like terrible timing, actually. Hmm. The rope is fastened to the tree with a fiendishly complicated knot. So do we just cut it? Is that what you tell me? Cut it. Oh boy. Okay, we can hide. Oh, I was like, I hope they let me hide somewhere back here, because otherwise I'm toast. Okay, so let's see now with this rope if we can do something over here. Okay. I'm not sure what that's accomplished, but for now let's hide. So now what? Now what? Oh, I can interact with it now. All right, let's see if we can swing it in front of his face. Ooh! Oh, good! God! Oh, jeez, I impaled her. I'm freaking out, man. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna happen. At worst, I thought we'd knock him out and I'd, she wouldn't be able to do anything to us. Ow. <laughs> okay. Well, this grim game just suddenly got even grimmer. Um, no, don't, don't go back up there. I want to go and talk to that critter down below. Maybe he's good. He doesn't look like he's sane and in his right mind, but then again, considering what was happening to him. Little princess, <gasps> I found you. Oh, it was the little princess. Oh, the king's not going to be happy about this I one. I have blood on my hands. Again. Did I have a chance to save you? Uh oh. Ellie is in danger. If the girls are hunting in the forest, they could easily become the prey. I need to hurry. Wow. <laughs> you know what? The king's to blame for this. I told you guys from the start. Who does this guy think he is sending this little kid off to do this mission by himself? Thank you, boy. I didn't mean to... This is crazy. What matters is that we're alive. This isn't the first time I've been hunted. Our forest is governed by the law of the jungle. It's either you or me. They won't catch Yanni Anuers again. What do you think? Should I lay some traps? I think they'll stay clear of this place if you do. Okay. Well, I, 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 I apparently uh, killed the princess to uh, save this weird creature who apparently speaks in the human tongue. So, 
Uh, I guess for now we go. The problem is, though, I thought we needed oars to use this boat. Is that suddenly not a thing now, or what? Strange boats. Right. I need to get across the river. Is that your boat on the bank? Oh, it's his boat. It's the creature's boat. The boat? No. No, that belongs to the river. How am I supposed to get across to the other side? There are no oars for rowing. The boat, just like the river itself, is enchanted. If you want it to take you across, you need to bring it a gift. Like, uh, maybe the doll of this dead girl? No? Maybe the horn? <gasps> Dude. We're gonna give the river the body of the princess. Wow. And accordingly so, the, um... River itself is now turned to blood. This thing doesn't look too evil. What are you doing? Are you alerting people that I'm here? Don't do that. I'm delighted to welcome a traveler to my humble abode. I'll bet you are weary from traveling and wish to rest. Yes, please, follow me. Thank you. You're very kind, but I'm in a big hurry. Forgive my curiosity, but may I ask where you're rushing to? I need to find a cave and find my little sister. An evil spirit has possessed her mind. Hmm. I suppose you're seeking the cave located on that bloodstained island that lies next to ours. You know where it is? Please, show me the way. Only a desperate person seeking death would venture there. The road there is long. The placid river soon becomes a channel of sewage teeming with evil spirits. I will be glad to help you. But I think you will only be up to the task of such a journey after a good night's sleep. Oh yeah, that sounds... Sounds great. I don't trust you at all, and I just want you to show me the place where we gotta go now. Rest now, young man. And after, we will equip you with everything you need and send you off in our best boat. Mm-hmm. Just out of the kindness of their hearts. People sail to our island so rarely, but we need company in the same way you need air to breathe. Please, do us a kindness. Spend a few hours with us. I think I really need to rest for a few hours. Thank you. You fool. Please follow me upstairs. I will take you to the best room. You're a fool, young child. Make yourself at home. I will go and see that the boat is made ready. Thank you again. I'll just rest for a short while and then I'll be on my way. As you wish. Rest now, young man. Sleep well. Good. Who saw this one coming, huh? Apparently put some weird dream catcher over me now. Oh, 
Oh, you have nobody to blame but yourself for this one, alright? Okay. Let us move forward. Are these feathers or leaves? No clue. Oh, we could actually move up and down, too. Hmm. I just popped a giant zit. It's fine, I may uh, just look for the zits and pop them or what? Let's keep at it, dude. Just pop every single zit we see. This is a. Uh, us going through puberty, I imagine. Okay, here's the fourth one. Fog's clearing up now. Light. What's happening? Wake up, dude. Alright. Not sure. It seems like there's... One of those owl things up there. And I'm still under whatever. Oh, God. They're going to be pacing back and forth. What do you lead to? Down here. Wait. Oh, you only come out when I want to. Perfect. But we obviously have a little puzzle here involved now with this, too. So let me guess, now if I go through, you lead me to a different place altogether? Yes, that side, because that has the O marking on it. The problem is when I pop out, this guy's going to probably see me. Okay. Wheel. Turn the wheel. Ooh, spikes out of the way. Perfect, perfect. Height. Oh, I'm at the start. Don't ring that bell, but can I kill this thing? <laughs> no, okay. Can't choke him out or something. So I think I finally got this figured out. We have to. This guy that's in front of us right now, we have to distract him by making that green thing stop. And we make it stop by the switch over here. And when it all that happens, we have to drop down quickly, go to the right of him, take this, and pick up whatever this is over here. We gotta do this all very quickly. Seems we have picked up a knife of some kind. Okay. And now, we're good. Just chill a bit. We're gonna retrace our steps. And now that we have whatever this tool is, we're gonna wedge out those purple orbs, put them behind the spikes, and that hopefully she'll lead us who we're supposed to be going. So let's switch the mix. Oh, Ooh, that was close. <laughs> switch back over to an end. And we gotta go up. Yeah. So it was like apparently a dagger of some kind, which we used to wedge those orbs out of that. Because we couldn't pull them up with our bare hands. Perfect. Now we grab this one. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's cutting it short. Oh, 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 you can't hide behind the box. Well, maybe now that we took the light out, though. It's not... He can't see us? Oh, I think we're fine. I guess because we took it the ladder, he can't see us. Okay, so we have all the two orbs now. We just gotta get back, put them through that doorway, and I think we should be fine. Uh, I need to... That's fine, yeah. Go back up, and it's right there to the left. Right here, boys. I think. Oh, there's a dude. Now he's over here asleep, doing the same mumbo jumbo that we kind of were. Uh, do I, <laughs> do I stab him in the neck or what? Do I need a staff? There's also a door behind them, and what's this? Oh, we can hide behind this. What happens if I switch over to S? Oh. Okay. So this is why we hide. <gasps> oh 
Okay. Okay. I mean, who would have thought that the key was behind him? Now... Let's go. Oh, good. What the hell is this? A wheel, sun, wheel. I've seen a couple of these, um... I guess inscriptions down below, but I never really paid attention to what the hell they meant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two hours later. Okay. Well, the only thing that makes sense is if we're looking for a number combination, because we have numbers here, right? Let's say we count the spools here, this wheel. So we got four, correct? Then over here, we don't necessarily have one, but let's say we count the outer ones. So we'll say six, four, six, and then over here we have eight. Now, is that the order? Four, six, eight? Or is it six, four, eight? Is it eight, four, six? Is it eight, six, four? No clue. And then six for the sun. And that'll rotate off to the upper right. Yes. <gasps> yes! Okay, so now the alarm doesn't go off because of that thing that we turned off, and now we can take this over to whatever S leads us to. Ah, to the exit. Yo! Okay, even better. I think. Please don't get caught here. Get out of here, please. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you evil owls. <laughs> that can make me sleep forever here, did you? Good God. Okay. Maybe now he's learned the lesson that don't trust anything in this world. What the hell is this thing now? Oh. Sure. Oh, I'm s uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, God. Oh god, the, the aliens from the water, from the Cthulhu Abyss with tentacle things just ate us. Oh, oh, turn off the light. Or no, don't turn off the light. Maybe they're scared of the light? Hey, I will shine this on. Oh. Oh, it burns up. Oh, okay. Mm, Should have probably gone after the one on the left first, I think. We still get him? With this god. Oh, it's not over yet. Of course not. Does everything want to kill you in this game? <laughs> everything so far just wants me dead. Okay. Wait. Get away, my friend. Oh. Oh, burn, please burn the calamari away. Hurry. He's about to get aboard. Kill this one before we go. No, stay down there. Stay down. Don't come up here. Burn up. Oh, that was close. Oh, I should have probably stayed. Whatever. Don't. Don't jump. Oh, I think that was it. <laughs> Just in time, too, because apparently my lantern's done. See, now would be the opportune time for those things to roll up. Oh, chapter three is here. Well, I guess um, this would be the perfect time to wrap it up. I think we have suffered long enough now. Is this kid's hair gray now? Is that the amount of stress he's in? This doesn't look a very comforting land. Alright, that's being said, though, we're way over time here with this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you are, do let me know and I'll come back and maybe even finish this bad boy up. I'm not sure how far we are. Feels like we're rather far, though. And so far, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and it's only getting more grim, apparently, the further in we get. I'll catch you guys next time.